Welcome back, Buffalo. It is our time to draft number one overall. So pretty much, we're just going to get straight into it. There's not much really else to, to show you guys. We'll go through the draft class once again. Our pick's going to be old Rich Kubalik, man. Uh, going number one in an A-plus league, 49 games played, 13 goals, 15 assists. He was a plus 13. Uh, amazing, like A-plus, A-plus, A, A, A-plus, A-minus, strengths, puck protection, goal scoring, pro release, no weaknesses, 18 years of age, 6'2 power forward, similar style to Owen Nolan. He is NHL ready. Uh, his scheme fit, dump, balance, balance, block, overload. He has heat seeker at three bars. Uh, big tipper and bouncer are for sure. Wheels and shock and all could be a thing. So, um, yeah, I, I was thinking, do we trade our first overall pick, try to go for someone good? I say we're going to make this a prospect team. We're going to draft number one overall. And then come free agency, we do have some big contracts that we need to sign, actually. Uh, I was taking a look at this off of video. We have a lot of contracts to be signed. One being Victor Olofsson, Owen Power, Casey Middlestat, Henry Yokiharu, uh, Peyton Krebs, and that might be it. So some big names on the list. Uh, Goaltending-wise, UPL and Eric Comrie need contracts as well. So we got some uh, homework to take care of. And then... Once we see what our salary cap is at, I think we go out and make some big moves in free agency to get this team ready for the season and ready to compete for a Stanley Cup. So, without further ado, we're heading in to the draft. We have the number one pick, okay? So, uh, Tori Krug's being shopped around by the Blues. Connor Bedard won that. Okay, so, I just want to see what exactly we would get offered for our first overall pick. No trades are found, okay? So, no problem. We're going to take first overall. Uh, like I said, I, th there's nothing really, there's nothing much that I really want to do. Like, sure, it holds a lot of trade value, but, like, there's no really big trades that I want to make. So there's no wasting time. Pick number one will be Old Rich Kubalik. Welcome to the Buffalo Sabres franchise, buddy, all right? So he's an elite medium. We do not know his overall yet. Um, he has Heat Seeker. At four bars, bouncer at four bars, big tipper at four, shocking off four, and wheels at four. That is absolutely huge. We don't know his overall rating, none of that, but it, it, he's NHL ready, is what they were telling me. That's a good draft pick, okay? So, our next pick, do we have anything else in the first round? I think we have one more pick in the first round, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, we have the 28th overall pick, okay? Do we go out and try to get someone or do we get rid of that first overall pick so let's go look at the at the draft class one more time right let's look at everyone's rank who would we get at around 28 okay are there is there anyone good all right so we got howard low uh not really liking what i'm seeing there elliot not really liking what i'm seeing there uh this guy's a gem is what they're saying um but again didn't really scout him too much, but they're saying he's a gem. Elite medium, Subarev at 35. Uh, could be something similar to Braden Holpe. Elite medium goaltender. We could trade down and try to get the 35th overall. Uh, I'm trying to see when we have a next pick. Like, we can get him at 35th, right? So, I think... I think we are going to make a trade for our second um, first round pick. I, I don't think we're going to really get anything uh so let's see what we can really get for it okay so we're gonna sim this pick baines going to minnesota we were looking at him as well he looks pretty good but i think our pick was better right so offer trade see if anyone is interested in this first overall pick okay from the detroit red wings we got this one from so chicago was interested in it who are they willing to give up Anthony CU, Bluger, not really anyone that we're looking for. Um, so, yeah, we're going to take a, a no, a hard no on Chicago. Detroit, Joe Pavelski, two years left, 6.8. Evgeny Dadanov, uh, Verana, we want someone young to come in. Uh, Verana wouldn't be a bad choice, but he's got a year left. We got to sign him. We got Fabry, Jeff Skinner, we don't want back. Okay, so Detroit's probably a no-go. L.A., Victor Arvidsson, he's probably got a year left. We can try to go get him in free agency. I don't see us trying to trade for him. 
Uh, don't know why we're checking Minnesota. They don't want Montreal is interested. They're not willing to give up anyone but Cam Talbot. We are not interested in that. The Islanders, Adam Pellick. Six years left. We don't really need defensemen, so that's the issue. Josh Bailey is up there in age. Arturi Lekkanen, four years at four and a half. Don't know how I feel about that contract, in all honesty. Uh, nothing there. Goaltending, no. The San Jose Sharks, Ryan Ellis. Again, not really looking for defensemen that are up there in age as well. Uh, Seattle's interested. Robert Haig. Again, defenseman that we don't need. Philip Grubauer not taking that contract on. And other than that, it doesn't look like anyone else is interested. Um, hmm. So maybe we just make that pick with our number one pick. Like I, There's not, no one that I really want to go out and get. Uh, they're getting rid of Hyman. He's probably got a year left. He's got five years left, but he's 32. Don't know how I feel about that. Yeah, I think we just keep this first round pick. Like, there's nothing that I really think would work. Montreal's not willing to give up a whole lot of anything. The teams that are interested in the pick don't seem to be interested. Like, don't have anything interesting to give up. Uh, we'll try to do the find the trade feature. I don't think we're going to find anything for it. Uh, so, I think we're just going to pick at 28th overall. All right. So, sim options, sim to pick 28. Uh, I just kind of want to see who went where. Uh, Baines, we got elite medium. Uh, like oh wow he looks like he could be something good a centerman who is a what's his build it doesn't say am i blind i think i'm blind center though all right so no one's showing overalls we got the fog of war so you know what for the next um gm mode we are going to turn off fog of war i'm going to see if i can turn that off in general i don't like how we can't see the overalls just yet okay so we're going to turn off fog of war all right I'm, I'm learning with this franchise mode stuff, so I apologize for that, boys, okay? So, number 27, supposed to go 28. They're saying Howard Lowe, left wing, 6'2". I mean, he looks decent. Lightning, eh, doesn't look like anything too good. A bunch of unknowns, so let's go here. Uh, Aline Medium, we're looking at suit, like, this is the issue with this pick. Is like, let me call a timeout. We don't need this pick. We don't. We don't. So, you know what? Let's go make a trade. Maybe maybe we'll move down. Let's go to a team that's interested in this pick. And we'll kind of move down, right? So, we'll take their second overall pick. They're willing to give that up. We'll go down to 49. I'm good with that. Skaters matching the block. I mean, again, there's just nothing that I'm really liking. Craig Smith, 34, year left. Don't know how much he's going to want. Uh, again, he's up there in age as well. Anthony CU, 29, three years left. Not a fan of that contract, so maybe not the, uh, Chicago. Uh, Detroit was a team that's interested. They have a lot of players that they're trying to give up. Um, they don't want to get rid of their second. Uh, so maybe give me your fourth. Um, and maybe we can get a first out of next year. I don't think we... Maybe a... No, there's no way that goes through. Um... Maybe a second for next year and a six for this year. I don't think this goes through, but we'll see. Okay, it did go through. So you know what? I like that trade. All right. We get rid of our first. We don't really need it. Okay. We're getting a second round from Detroit. So we have two second round picks next year, which we're not going to need picks. So it's something that we can offload at the trade deadline potentially. And then we get a six round pick as well. So you know what? I'll take that. Uh, I didn't really like who was there, and I'm good with simming to our next pick because I think we're going to get who we want. Let me just make sure that our goaltender that we were looking at did not go anywhere, okay? He did not. Beautiful. Uh, I do want to see what we missed out on uh, with low here, okay? So what did we miss out on? Not much, man. Like, we can't really tell. I, I, I don't think I could turn off Fog of War, so this kind of chalks it up, but next GM mode, we will be t turning off Fog of War, okay? So... We were looking at Subarev, all right? Goaltender, 6'4", could be the goaltender of the future. Didn't have the greatest stats. He played in an A-plus league, though, so I'm kind of willing to look the other way when it comes to that. He's four years out. Um, other than that, Subarev is our next guy. If we look at the CS, uh, the CS ranking here, uh, Vobrov is a guy that's 
no one's really taken, and he's supposed to be a gem. Now, when's our next pick? Because I do want the Subiov guy. I don't think we have another second round pick, unfortunately. Um, so we kind of just got to take a shot. We don't really need a defenseman is the way I'm looking at it. So I think we're going to go Subrev, all right? So we're going to take our chances with him and see what he's going to turn into, man. Elite medium goaltender could definitely be something, all right? So let's him to pick 66. We're into the third round here. Uh, let's sort by here. Elite medium. He's supposed to go 173. Elite low. Could be something. Let's go back to the C, uh, the SC ranking. Top six forward medium. Uh, bottom six forward medium. A centerman. Didn't do too great. Uh, you know what? Let's go a rabbit. We're to be rabbit. And then we will go to pick 98. And that's where I'm going to think I'm going to go with those guys right here. We were looking at Elite Low, Alexandriov, right? A-plus league, he only played 10 games this year. Five years, no similar style. But Elite Low at three bars is kind of intriguing. And it's someone that I'm really looking at. We could, Can we wait to take him maybe? He's supposed to go 167. We could probably wait to take him to be honest. And then maybe go with a Rogers Elite Low, uh, A plus League or C minus League. He didn't do too great in the C minus League, to be fair. Uh, man, Elite Low Alexandriov. We were looking at him. You know what? Let's make his day. He's going super early. All right. Sim to pick one thirty. Anything good that's left? Do we have any gems? Maybe. No gems, okay. And elite medium, Stromberg. You know what? Uh, A league. We'll go with Stromberg. Supposed to go 179. We'll take him there. Sim to pick 132. Uh, da -da -da -da. No one, like, no one that really standing out to me right now man that's the thing there's nothing ahl top six forward uh c minus he did decent you know well we'll bring you on a little canadian boy coming to buffalo just across the border we get another six round pick here uh lee medium just really trying to see if there's anyone that we're really missing on ahl top two there's not much left man uh my scouting wasn't great to be fair so you know we'll go with rule off he could be elite medium. We just don't know yet. Sim to pick 186. My scouts obviously didn't do the greatest. We'll go with Budnik. Why not? And Sim to pick 188. Uh, Matt Olson or Odelson. Uh, I like I said, I don't really see much left out here. We don't really need defensemen. I'm kind of just going in on forwards. We'll take Odison. Did not mean to do that. That's my mistake, uh, Anaheim. We do not want that pick. I will close my phone. Uh, Sim options, 194. We're into the seventh round here. Is there any good goaltenders left? Doesn't look like it. So we're just going to go here. Bottom six forward. Anyone with maybe two bars? AHL top two. You know what? Lavoie. Take a defenseman. And that is our draft, all right? So we made big moves, drafting Kubalik. And now we move to the off-season, the re the re-sign stage. We had to re-sign coaches, so let's do that. Um, our AHL head coach, you know what? I feel like we can get someone better. Morgan Downing's going to go. Uh, we can get a better associate coach. You're gone. And the assistant coach is here. Now, for the time being, LaBelle is our head coach. I think he's going to be a guy. We only sent him to a two-year deal. We are probably going to fire him and try to get a better head coach. Okay, so uh, scouts, we will go ahead and try to get better scouts, I would like to say. So we're not going to re-sign those guys. And now we are off to the re-signing stage, all right? So, again, we know who we have to sign. We have 41 mil in cap space to do so, okay? So pretty much what we're going to do straight off the bat uh, Kubalik is getting a three-year entry-level deal. Uh, he's going to be up in the NHL, all right? So, makes sense to me. Now, look in here. Uh, let's go 
with our UFAs first, okay? Or let's go with our RFAs first, okay? So, uh, and then we will sort by overall, okay? So, Owen Power is a one guy that we for sure, for sure need to bring in, and I know I want him here long term. So, we're going to bring him in for eight years. We're going to try to get him for 7-2. I think that is a steal for a defenseman. Now, I think he's going to be a very, very good defenseman for us. So, 7-2, eight years, ra or for Rasmus Dahlin, Owen Power. Now, Casey Middlestad, 25. Three-year deal at 4.3, I wouldn't mind. Henry Yoki Haru, 25. Three-year deals at 4.5 as well. Peyton Krebs wants a bit more there for four years. Looking at our UFAs, I do want to bring it back Olofsson. I don't think for four years. I think I'd do a three-year deal at maybe 4.6. So that's Olofsson, Vinny, and Estroza. We'll get back to all these smaller guys or smaller deals later. Um, so Owen Power, Casey Middlestat, I will bring back uh man let's see if we can do four years at 4.35 for casey middle stat i might regret that contract but someone that we could always move henry yoki haru one of our bigger defensemen i'm okay with bringing him back now if we look at our defensemen here right we got one two three we do need henry yoki haru so we're gonna bring in henry yoki haru three years let's see if he'll do four four five okay so that's henry yoki haru um okay who else needs contracts we're looking at the wrong screen um okay Peyton Krebs I would like to get done as well 23 he's an 82 overall top six medium forward ah man is he worth four mil that's the that's the thing I'm gonna give him a two-year deal I'm gonna give him 4.25 and see if he accepts that. See what he grows into. All right, the, just a little bit of a bridge deal. We might regret that as a franchise, but I want to see what he grows into. Okay, so Owen Power renewing, Victor Olofsson renewing, Henry Yokiharu renewing, Peyton Krebs renewing, Casey Middlestad as well, and Kubalik signing uh, his entry level. Okay, so we have 20 million cap space to work with now. Vinny Henestroza. Is he someone that we want to bring back? I could do one year at one four five. See if he'll take that. Luff. Uh, you know what? We'll release Luff. We will release Reeves. We will release Fitzgerald. We will release Malone. Uh, Prisky. Yep. We will sign you, my man. See what you can turn into. Komarov, we will sign you as well. And now off to the RFAs. Uh, Robertson, 23. Uh, we will give you a two-year deal. Uh, Bryson, 26. Uh, let's see if we can do one mil for a year. Murray, 25. Don't mind you signing that. Picard, sure. These guys were just given whatever they want, really. Like, doesn't really matter to me. And you as well. Goaltending needs to be done. Uh, UPL. Uh, let's try to sign him to a three-year three -year deal, see what he could turn into. I'll give you 1.85. Uh, yeah, that's our rookie goaltender. And then we need to sign Eric Comrie, depending what he wants. Good by me. And I will sign you as well to an entry-level deal. Are there any other... Actually, we'll come back and see that after, okay? So let's advance a day. Uh, Comrie wants more money. Uh, all right, Vinny Hinestroza wants to test the free agency market, not a problem. Bryson's back, uh, back, he's back, 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 back. Okay, these guys signing their entry levels. All right, so, uh, who wanted out? It was Vinny Hinestroza. So, go test your free agency, buddy. No hard feelings there for sure, man. Uh, look in here. Any of our rookies that are worth signing, top six medium defensemen. Uh, I don't know. Um, elite medium, elite low. Alexandriov, I want to sign. Get him going there. Um, elite medium, Kubalik. Did we not sign him already? I swear we did, man. I swear we did. We'll, uh, we'll make sure that he's signed up. I'm not sure what that's about, all right? Top nine forward, 19. You know what? We'll give him a year left there. Advance a day. Kubalik, it's an honor to join the team. All right, so there we go. That's everyone that needs to be signed. Let's sim off the free agency here. Uh, and we will start 
getting some more coaches and scouts, all right? So first off, looking at the coaching staff, uh, we do want a better head coach eventually. So uh, let's see what's out there before we even fire him, all right? So uh, hire staff. All right, A minus is Ben. 58% with the team. Darlene likes him. Thompson doesn't. Asplin likes him. 58%, man. Uh, do we do, do we try to go get him? Maybe sign him for a two-year deal as well. And let's give him 4.5, right? So we're going to bring in a new head coach. All right. Edmonton and Arizona are interested in him, all right? The issue here is, is if we fire our coach and this guy says no, we are in troubles, all right? So... Um, LaBelle's got to go, all right? Done. We need a head coach for the AHL, an associate coach. All right, so head coach for the AHL. We could give it to LaBelle. 51% chance. 61. 61. So you know what? Let's give it to this guy. There, no, wrong guy. Maybe it was this guy, Newberry. Let's give it to Newberry. We're going to give him the AHL head coach. Five years. We're going to give him what he wants. All right. We need an associate coach down there. 63 for Byron. Let's do AHL associate coach. Get him paid up. All right, we need a goalie coach now, so that would be good. Um, someone that generalizes in goalies would be nice. Uh, da -da -da -da. We got Newberry coming. We need a goalie coach. Thompson, 56% chance. We'll do AHL goalie coach. Hopefully he takes that. And those should be that done, I believe. Now we need scouts, actually. Uh, higher scouts. What scouts do we need? That's the question here, okay? So, uh, assigned scouts. No, we're looking at coaching staff. Do we check our scouts from here? I believe so. Okay, so pretty much anyone that doesn't have a B, we want to get rid of, right? So, fire, 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 fire. They're just, the, the, these are not good scouts. They're not going to get anything done for us, all right? Plain and simple, okay? So just getting rid of all these guys, all right? We're good, okay? So we need how many scouts? 16 scouts, all right? We got one in the O, one in Russia, and the rest we need to see, all right? So higher staff, higher scouts, all right? We need an OHL. Let's bring you in. OHL we need. Don't need NHL. Nordic we definitely do need. All right. Uh, NHL, NHL, AHL. Don't need AHL. USA, we could bring in a USA guy for sure. Uh, Europe, yep. All right. Uh, QMJHL. Why not? How many is that already? One, two, three, four. We've, we've offered five. Okay, we've offered five. Russia, six. Need ten more. Do the USA. Nine more. Need the WHL. All right, Nordic. Uh, Russia, Nordic, Europe. We can get more Europe European scouts for sure. USA, we got two. Europe, we got two. Nordic, we got two. Russia, let's get another Russian guy in here. All right. QMJHL, we could bring one in. Uh, OHL, we could definitely bring one more. All right. WHL, let's bring in one more. We got two more contracts to give up. All right, we'll give it to the AHL. 
and the AHL, and done. All right, so that's all our scouts that uh, needed to be done there. All right, now, before we get into free agency, kind of want to see what we're looking for once we get there, right? So center core, what is our center core looking like right now? Okay, so it's going to be Tage Thompson, Dylan Cousins, Middlestat, Peyton Krebs, all right? We don't need Asplin, but like some of these guys are going to play the wings, right? We still got Ross Colton for a year. That's cool. Uh, Savoy, is he ready to go, man? Uh, I, he might need one more year in the minors just to see where he's at. So we'll look at him. Uh, left wings, we got one, uh, two, and three. Okay, so we can use a left winger. We can use a... We could probably use a right winger. So left wing, right wing, defense. One, two, three, four. All right, so we can use... A right wing, left wing, probably a second and third pair defenseman, and goaltending seems fine to me. Uh, we probably need a backup, all right? So let me just jot this down real quick. All right, so I jotted down what we needed. We need a left wing, a right wing. We need a second and third pairing uh, right defenseman, okay? Uh, and then again, looking for the left wing and right wing we could use, honestly, dude, our right wing, Haltonen, is he going to be... No, Haltonen's not ready to go just yet. So he'll be playing in the minors again. Um, yeah, he'll be playing in the minors again. Haltonen will be playing in the minors once more. Uh, Alex Tuck will be our top line. So we could use a second line right winger. Probably a second line... Er, probably a second line right winger. Looking at our left wings, Olofsson, Patrika... Yeah, I mean, second line left wing, second line right wing, pretty much. Um, I think that would look good to me. Uh, where is the the guy that we drafted? Uh, where is he? Where? Oh, hold on. Uh, interesting. I can't find him for some reason. But we have our, our prospect as well, Kubalik. All right, he's right here, okay? So he's a right wing. So maybe a third line right wing and a second line left wing, okay? So let's see who's in free agency first off, okay? So Elias Pedersen hit the free agency market. Kopitar, Aho, Pedersen, LeBanc, William Nylander, Evgeny Dadanov, uh, Jeff Carter, uh, uh, Killington. All right, so first things first, we were looking at a left winger who can play second line minutes, right? So who would fit the second line? So we got Table Teravainen. Uh, let's make sure they are unrestricted. So we got Teravainen, we got Verona, we got Engvall, who's at a 70 or an 87. Um, so let's see who would fit, honestly, man. Who would fit? So fits none of the lines. Uh, fits none, fits none. Okay, so our coach sucks, all right? Let's not listen to our coach, but this guy can play offensive line one, offensive line four, um, three. Maybe we go with like a Pierre Engvall. How old is he? He's 28, he's young. 87, he wants three years. I'd be okay with doing like a two year deal. Uh, so you know what, Pierre Engvall can be a guy that we bring in. There's a Jake DeBrusque, but um, maybe that's a depth guy that we sign. So you know what, let's go with Pierre Engvall. Uh, no one's interested in him, so let's go two years. Uh, and we'll give him a 19 mil to work with. Let's give him 2.45, all right? So there's Pierre Engvall. That's our left winger that we need done. Right wingers, Kevin LeBanc. William Nylander. Do we bring in a William Nylander for seven years at 9.2? I don't know how I feel about that, right? But he is one of the younger guys that have hit free agency. Uh, we got Kasperi Kapanen. He could be someone that I wouldn't mind bringing in. Uh, I'm right now just looking at age more or less, but honestly, we could use someone with a little bit of age on them. Do we go for William Nylander? No, we're looking for a second line guy. Is Alex Tuck a good first liner? Maybe we are looking for a first line guy, and Alex Tuck can maybe go and play second line. Now, we offered uh, Pure Angval a two year deal, right? If we go for William Nylander, which I am very tempted to go with, I don't think I'd want to give him seven years. Five years would take him to what, 29, 33? I'd be okay with that. Now, 
Do we give him 9.275, five years? We're going to have some of our rookies to sign. I don't think it's a contract we're willing to take on. Is he going to be good in his later ages? Probably, man. He had a good year last year with Toronto. Won the cup with them, and he's ready to go. He fits forward line one. You know what? I'm taking my chances, and if this contract rots on us, we can always trade him, all right? So Dallas is interested in him. I'm going to go 9-4, 9-3-5 for five years. William Nylander, let's see where that takes us, okay? So that's 9 mil right there. That's 3. That's what... Uh, 12 mil out of the 19 we we're, were able to spend, all right? So now we need defensemen, second and third pairing, okay? So look in here, second and third pairing. We need a right-handed shot. Um, so Tanev being one of them at 34. We could sign him for a year at 4.5. Artem Zub at 28. Uh, you know what? Artem Zub is someone that interests me, all right? So let's do a two-year deal. Uh, let's, say, let's see if he'll take two mil flat. All right, and we need another defenseman to come in. He'll be our second line. We need a f uh, third pairing. Uh, so literally anyone here. Labushkin wouldn't be bad. Uh, bigger guy, can help kill penalties. Fits on that third pairing. We'll offer him a two-year deal. Am I willing to give up that much for Labushkin? Uh, 32. Uh, is there anyone better? TJ Brody, but he wants around the same 34. You know what? Let's go with Ilya Labushkin. No one's interested in him. I'm going to try to go for 2.3, all right? And then we need a backup goaltender here. Uh, someone who can back up. Like, is UPL our starter? I guess he is our starter for now, all right? So we need someone to back him up. Uh, we could bring back Eric Comrie. He did okay for us last year, I believe. Uh, 887. Uh, Brian Elliott maybe gets someone uh, with age back there. So let's go Brian Elliott. I'll give him ooh 2.2, man. Oh, my God. Scott, Scott Wedgwood didn't have a good year. Jeez, uh, man. Oh, boy. Okay. Uh, Montembeau, 908. Ugh. You know what? Do we want to give our backup goaltender that much money? Kevin Lankinen had a 910, but then you go back to Brian Elliott. He had a 924. Who did he play with last year? He played with Anaheim too, man. All right, you know what? Let's go with Brian Elliott. We can cough up that money. Let's do a year. Oh, beautiful. I can do a year and I'll even give you 1.7, my friend. You know what? I'll give you 1.8 just to make sure you come to, to Buffalo, all right? So that's everyone. We addressed everything that we needed, all right? Real quick before we start simming, we got to go to our staff and we do got to fire our coach, okay? Oh, we did. We all right. We did already. Okay, I don't know what I'm on about. Okay, so let's advance and see who says yes. All right, uh, incoming trade Bjork. Ooh, second, get a fourth, get Sean Monahan. Don't need Mon Sean Monahan. Thank you though. All right, sim these days. All right, so we got our AHL head coach in Newberry, so that's good. Uh, all right, we got our associate coach Byron, so our AHL team's looking good. Um, AHL goalie coach has declined. Okay, no worries there. Um, I'm willing to accept your offer. So we're getting our scouts coming in now. Scouts coming in. All right, so these are just our scouts accepting. None of the coaches, obviously, just scouts. Uh, that's good. Everyone's accepting. We needed the scouts, so that's good. Let's advance another day. More scouts coming in. More scouts coming in. They're all scouts, but they're all accepting, which is good, all right? So that's one thing that we wanted to get out of the way. It's out of the way now, all right? So beautiful. Accepting all our offers. We love that. Keep accepting, baby. Let's go. Okay, cool. Uh, Bjork for Kerfoot, who's back in Colorado. Uh, no thank you. All right, let's advance another day. Ooh, head coach said no. Ooh, ooh, ooh. 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 Okay, Ilya Labushkin is coming back to Buffalo. He's extremely uh, happy to accept our offer. Welcome back, Labushkin. Artem Zub, that is a huge signing, is coming to Buffalo. Brian Elliott has accepted. Pierre Engvall has accepted. And we're still willing on um, William Nylander. You know what's funny? Is I didn't even mean to. I signed two Maple Leaf players. I didn't even mean to. That's the funny thing, okay? So we got to go hire staff. Is that coach still available, man? He is still available. Was this the guy that we uh, offered? 51%? I think it was him, right? So you know what? Let's offer him everything that we have, all right? Five years. 
All right? Take five mil, man. I don't care. We need a good coach. No one wants to come coach this team for some reason, all right? We had the same issue last offseason signing a good head coach. Please. All right? Advance a day. William Nylander is going to the New York Islanders. How the turn have tables, eh? Huh? All right. So, our big red winger is gone off to the Isles, all right? So, we still need a right winger. And there's not... Uh, there's still some decent players left. Blake Wheeler, two years. Don't know how I feel about that. Anthony Mantha. Man, dude, that kind of sucks. Tyler Toffoli wants four years. Like, we have how much? We have 15 million cap space, man. We can sign a Craig Smith for depth scoring. I won't mind that. We'll give him a one year deal at 1.35. No problem there. Just get some depth scoring in there. Uh, Victor Arvidsson, 31. Oh, man, dude, that kind of sucks. I don't know if once two years. I, I don't think he's going to stay at an 88 at 35. Blake Wheeler wouldn't be a bad shout. It's maybe for like a year, maybe two years. I wouldn't mind doing six mil for him. I don't know who else, dude. Bear Banov, he's up there in age. All these guys up there in age. Daniel Sprong, I mean, a depth guy. Uh, two years, 27, 81 overall. He's still young. We'll give him a deal. Um, other than that, man, Toffoli wanting four years. Nino Niederreiter, 86 overall. Does he keep it up? I'll sign him at a two-year deal, 2.8, all right? Ah, man, that really sucks about Nylander, dude. Really sucks. Let's advance these days, see what happens here. Ben just still doesn't want to come here. Five mil and still does not want to come here. I'm going to try one more time with him. I don't get why no one wants to come bo uh, coach these Buffalo Sabres, man. I'll give you less years and maybe a bit more money, dude. Like, I don't know what else to offer you here, dude. Uh, we gave you, well, uh, just a bit over 5 mil, and you still said no. Literally take everything, dude. We need a good coach here in Buffalo. I feel like we need it desperately. We'll give him 5.4, dude. If you say no to this, you're out of your damn mind, buddy. Out of your damn mind, all right? So let's advance another day. Advance another one. See what our uh, free agents say. Oh, now you want to join the team. All right. You just wanted 5.4 mil, but we got a good coach. Brandon Van, welcome to the Buffalo Sabres organization. Uh, Craig Smith has accepted. Nino Niederreiter has accepted. Daniel Sprong has rejected. We have a full roster. Okay, so uh, Bjork for Bobrovsky. Get the hell out of here, man. Okay, now looking at our team here, right? I just want to see if we have enough players Tice on this team. We have 50 contracts out of 50, all right? So center-wise, all right? Thompson, Cousins, Middlestat, uh, Savoy, he, all right? Colton, okay, so we could put one of these guys in the wing. Left wings, Engvall, Olofsson, Patrika, Krebs, okay, or Asplund. Right wings, Smith, Niederreiter, Tuck, Cousins, Thompson, not Colton, he's a lefty, Picar, whatever, right? Defenseman, Darlene Power, Yoki Haru, Labushkin, Clegg, uh, Robertson. Was there not one more defenseman that we just signed? I swear we signed one more defenseman. Am I tripping? Artem Zub, we don't know who's overall yet. Okay, so that was a risky signing, I guess. Is there a way to turn off... I don't think there is. Let me check quickly. Yeah, there's no way. Okay, so it is what it is. We're going to have to deal with Fog of War for this uh, franchise mode. Okay, so I think realistically this is the team we're going with. All right, so let's sim to next season. Uh, we are going to edit our trade block. We don't want anything right now. We're pretty content with our team. We're going to see how everyone turns out. Uh, we're going to make our team... And then when we are good to go, uh, next episode will be us starting the sim for next season, all right? It's been a long episode already. This offseason has been a busy one for your Buffalo Sabres, okay? So let's into the season. We don't know who the captain's going to be yet. I think we are going to give the captaincy to Rasmus Dahlin. Uh, and then an assistant captain to Tuck. Um, and then I'm not sure who else, all right? So we're going to make sure to do all of that. And then next uh, video will be... 
the start of the season. So Tage Thompson, I'm going to uninsign the captaincy. I'm going to uninsign the alternate on the sign, all right? I want the captaincy to go to Rasmus Dahlin. I want the A to go to Thompson, and I want the A to go to, uh, where is he? Alex Tuck, all right? So that's all set. Edit the lines here. And what are we seeing here, right? Olofsson, Kubalik is playing first line. I kind of want Craig Smith up here. Kubalik there, Tuck on the third. Uh, Cousins, I want on the first line with Thompson and Craig Smith. Olofsson, Krebs, Kubalik. Uh, maybe throw Engvall on that first line like we wanted to. Throw Cousins there. Man, this is uh, looking like a sneakily good team, man. And then I wanted... Uh, da -da -da -da. Interesting. Put Olofsson there. Put Nita Ryder maybe up here. See what he turns into. And then defense, Darlene Yokiharu. Maybe throw Zub. Ooh. Ooh, no, 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 no. What are we going to do here? We got a minus two. Right. Hopefully that f works out. Uh, and then our goaltending ain't the greatest. Now looking in the AHL. Halton is up to a 71. We got Savoy. He, you know what? We'll give him one more year in the AHL. If he does good... Hey, man, uh, we're fine with calling you up. But right now, looking at the a uh, NHL, maybe we get rid of Ross Colton, but I don't want to play in fourth line minutes just yet, all right? So that looks good to me. Kubalik, no gold uh, X Factor right now. But you know what we'll do is we will sim through the regular or the preseason and uh, get all that done, all right? So, again, we're getting trade offers. Ooh. Interesting. All right, Jeremy Swayman. We wanted a goaltender. He's got a year left, 85 overall, 25 starting goaltender. Alexandriov, man. And we're getting rid of two seconds. That second that we got, man, you know what? I will come back to Boston if they're still looking to do this eventually. But right now, we're going to start the season with UPL in that, all right? So I think that might be our best case scenario, okay? So. Sim the preseason, which we just did. Uh, and let me go sign the scouts real quick. All right, regular season is done. Come and, come and gone. I just want to see everyone's ratings before we get started. We did not have a good uh, preseason, by the way. But it is what it is. Preseason is preseason, okay? So, look in here. Edit the lines. Kubalik is an 83. He's getting first line minutes. He's an 83 already at 18 years of age, man. Uh, awesome, all right? So here we'll be playing with Tage Thompson and Pierre Engvall, who was a horrible signing. 78 overall. It's a good thing we only signed into that. Let's throw Dylan Cousins up there. Let's get Nita Ryder up there. And let's put Asplin up there, all right? Not a good, great signing, all right? But it is what it is, okay? Same with Craig Smith. Not great. Let's throw Olofsson up there. All right. And maybe throw... Uh, we'll keep Kuba League. So this is what the lines are going to be looking like going into the season for next episode, all right? Cousins will be playing with Tage Thompson and Kuba Leak. Uh, Olofsson with Peyton Krebs and Nino Niederreiter. Krebs went up to an 85. So you know what, man? That two-year bridge deal might bite us in the butt. We might have to pay him more come uh, the two years. Asplund will be playing with Middlestat and Tuck. And then Smith with Colton and Engvall. Defense, we got Darlene with Henry Okiharu, Lubushkin with Owen Power, and Clay with Artem Zub. Now, my one thing that I do need to say, it's a Zub signing, not looking too great. Two years at two mil is all right. Labushkin, two years at what? 2.3 is all right as well. Come trade deadline, I can already see moves that we need to make. Uh, being probably a third line winger and a fourth line winger. Defense, definitely a first pairing defenseman. Get rid of Zub or Labushkin. And then if goaltending doesn't go the way it's supposed to, definitely a starting goaltender for um, the season to try to get us into the playoffs and competing for a cup. Looking down here in the minors, Halton is still at a 71. Uh, so we'll see what he can do. Uh, Savoy, he's going to be ready next year, I want to say. So that's going to be a center for us. Goaltending, we got uh, two pretty good goaltenders here. They're both 25, so we don't know what they're going to turn into. And then defensively, uh, not really any good prospects down here. Uh, other than that, who was scratched? Any of our prospects? Alexandria was one of those guys. Let's throw him into the lineup. Maybe get rid of you and put Alexandria off in there. Get him playing some fourth line minutes there. Maybe get Rooster Line up there. Okay, so that looks good to me. Everything is set. 
for next episode, all right? So if you guys have any suggestions before we start to sim a next episode, leave in the comment section down below. This is what the Buffalo Sabres are looking like going into the 2024-2025 regular season as potential playoff contenders. That is it for today. I will see you guys in the next one.